Hello, hello. I am walking around with a slightly different appearance today because my allergies are killing me and I want to rip my eyes out. So I think this might be the first time you guys have seen me in glasses. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, so today I want to focus on practicing my braids on Doppler and working on his tail a little bit. I got some new cool tools from uh, this company called Smart Grooming and their tail rakes. So basically I've heard that it's like an easier, more humane way of pulling the tail. So I want to try those out today and I'm kind of doing some things to prep for the Riga combined test that we're attending um, later this week. So I'm hoping to maybe look through the trailer and look at my packing list with you guys if I have time for that. And then I have a dressage lesson today to kind of run through my test and see where I can maybe gain a few points. So that's what I'm up to today. I'm gonna go get Dop first and we will groom him and work on his mane and tail. As you can see, he is caked in mud, so I'm gonna wash his legs really quick. We were supposed to have a jump school yesterday before um, the combined test and warming up he pulled one of his front shoes off with a bell boot on. Never had it happen before, but he had to get that fixed this morning, causing me stress. Thank you, causing me stress. Normally I wouldn't wash his legs because I don't like to over wash legs, but since it was like wet mud because it's raining and I have a lesson, that's why I'm washing. Okay. Sometimes if I have a little towel, I'll wrap down just to get that. Excess water off. So now I think I'm going to address his mane. I'm not going to do practice braids today, but I am going to uh, band it over so it leaves on the correct side. So the trick I saw on Instagram was to band it down like you normally would and then stick your finger through the middle and flip, he's not standing very well, the band through. 
creates this little twist and just might help it tame it a little bit more. Anyways, I don't know if it actually will tame the mane better. Typically, I would say I braid over to tame the mane. However, um, this method was cute. Um, I think straight down braids on short manes like this can look a little bit tacky, whereas, I don't know, this little twist, if you can see, looks kind of cute. So I decided to do that today. I'm gonna do this. And then today is Wednesday and our show is on Sunday. So I will take these out on Friday before he gets a good bath on Saturday. I'm gonna do the rest now. Who knows if it actually works, but I'll keep you guys posted. They do look pretty cute. Okay, now on to this tail. Situation. So as you guys can see, I already did a little bit of pulling. So I like to start with a bit of a natural pull. This just took away the outer layer of fuzz, which really his tail doesn't look that bad right now. However, I, um, I wanted to have a little bit of an hourglass shape, so I'm gonna do that now, and I'm gonna try these new tail rakes. Okay, so this is the tail tidying rake, hi buddy, that um, I got from Smart Grooming. I will link to their online store and their Instagram. Their Instagram posts were the reason that I wanted to buy these because the before and after photos looked amazing. I'm gonna try to put my camera on the step stool. So hopefully you guys can see. Oh, hopefully. So I ordered a medium, sorry, I ordered a medium and a fine grade rakes they're called tail rakes okay so okay you can already see a difference from the right side and the left take before and after pictures for Instagram. Okay, so progress with the medium rank. You can see what it looks like at the top. I'm actually gonna pull his tail a little more before I keep breaking because I want it to have a little more of an hourglass shape and come down to like here. I like to lift the tail up as I'm pulling so I can see what it will look like when they hold their tail out and up. The box hair comes out really easily because I'm sure it's been pulled 
many times before. Gonna rake again. do this kind of stuff to stop and evaluate how it looks so you don't go too far I'd rather do too little than too much Boy. okay so you can already see a difference I think I'm gonna have to use the fine rake up here because as you can see when I go over it with this medium one not a whole lot is happening, which is fine, but I have, I bought a fine grade one as well. But, so far so good. Um, I'm going to brush his tail out now. Pause. Okay, now before I do any more to the right side, I'm going to pull the left side more. Also have so much hair now. <laughs> this is just like brushing it and it just comes out. So crazy. And he definitely doesn't seem bothered by it at all. Okay, overall, I'm so far pretty happy with this look. I don't want to do too much, but I do want to do some fine raking up here. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this finished product right now. Um, typically, I would probably say for a show I'll do more, but given this is my first go at it, I don't want to do too much. I want to give it a couple days and come back to it. But overall, pretty happy with it. I need a little more. Oh, nice. Lovely. And obviously it'll lay flatter too as it's wrapped before a show, so I'm definitely pretty happy with this. Because it is raining, I'm probably going to trek down to the neighbor's indoor for my dressage lesson, and because of that, I probably won't be able to film that today. Um, there's just a lot of 
chaos down there as the jumper barn that they share with is moving back in. But I wanted to quickly show you guys, it's now getting wet, <laughs> my um, checklist. I just use the USDA checklist and then I kind of add to it as I feel necessary. So I kind of start off with this list when I go through the trailer and then I kind of go from there. So I actually tried to tidy up a little bit in here. Um, this corner over here is where a mounting block, um, my pitchfork, manure fork goes, extra whips. These are my wash and water buckets. I keep my sponges and squeegees in there. And this bottle is for um, witch hazel, which is the drying agent that we use. That down there is just some truck stuff for emergency situations. Uh, these are my boss cross country vests. I always really bring three water jugs, which obviously I fill the day before. And this is just like extra rains and stuff. This is a saddle rack. So we pull out all of our gear onto the saddle rack when it comes time to get ready. That way, if we have a groom that is helping someone, they know that everything is there. So this is my tack trunk and I want to organize this at another date with you guys. Um, but this is kind of where I hopefully keep the majority of all of my stuff other than tack and people things i try to keep everything horse related needed in there my first aid kit all of my grooming supplies studs um and just everything under the sun um i kind of add to it the day before so my breeding kit stays in the barn but when we go to the show i throw the breeding kit in there in case we have a little bit of mishap um, things like that. Obviously my clothes don't stay in here. I have a, a clothes bag and then the tack obviously doesn't either. But this trunk kind of takes care of everything else. And this is kind of the list that I go for. Now, some of the things on the USDA checklist um, are a little more comprehensive than we need because most of the time we are only going to a one day event. Um, only, the only three day like full event that we have around here is Millbrook Horse Trials and um, Millbrook Horse Trials is close enough that we still don't stay overnight. I'm hoping this year, fingers crossed, um, that maybe we'll get to go to a th full three day, but some of the stuff on this list like um, grain and supplements, those kinds of things are not necessary. So um, this week, uh, or well, this week, I'm gonna go through and check the list, but I'm gonna do that on a separate vlog, kind of my complete event checklist rundown. So watch on for later this week to follow up on that part of this week's vlog on um, packing the trailer, because I'm gonna do that later this week hopefully, fingers crossed, um, I'll have a full packing the trunk and the trailer vlog. So, until next time, that was just a brief overview, but when it's not raining and I can drag everything out, we will do that. So, stay tuned for the horse show packing vlog, and I hope you guys enjoyed my pre-horse show main and tail tidy up um, as the weekly vlog today and I'll see you guys next time.